हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज क्वेश्चन कंसिडर ए सिस्टम ऑफ स्मॉल बॉडी ऑफ मास एम कैप्ट ऑन ए लार्ज बॉडी ऑफ मास कैपिटल एम प्लेस्ड ओवर एन इंक्लाइन प्लेन ऑफ एंगल ऑफ इंक्लेशन थीटा टू द होरिजेंटल फाइंड द एक्सलेशन ऑफ एम वेन द सिस्टम इज सेट इन मोशन अज्यूम एन इंक्लाइन प्लेन टू बी फिक्सड ऑल कॉन्टैक्ट सर्फेज आर स्मूथ सो दिस इज गिवन एज इंक्लाइन प्लेन so there is a small uh, capital mass m and above which a small m is kept angle of inclination is given as theta and we are supposed to find out what will be the acceleration of small mass m in this case what we do we start that let the acceleration of small m be a okay let's assume let the acceleration of mass m with respect to capital m is a and it is towards the right and is toward right and similarly we are going to say let the acceleration of mass capital m let the acceleration of mass capital m with respect to ground with respect to ground is capital a okay and it is in the direction of the inclined plane downward and in the direction which is downward along the inclined plane downward along the inclined plane okay so these are the two important things we already defined the direction of small mass m but that is with respect to capital m and the acceleration as well of capital mass m with respect to ground that is given as a okay. so we can see that let's draw the pre body diagram of first of all for small mass m this is mass m so there will be mg in the downward direction and there will be a normal let us say n prime in the upward direction and we can also draw the acceleration part of this small mass in this way we already defined that the acceleration a will be in downward direction and this mass m will be also traveling according to the capital mass so it is going to have an acceleration of capital a in the downward direction okay. now this capital a can be divided into two parts this angle will be theta you can see this will be a cos of theta and this will be a sin of theta okay. so this is our mass small m and similarly we can draw for this capital mass also so this is our inclined plane and we have mass m 
there will be mg acting in downward direction and this mg can be divided into two parts we are going to have this angle will be theta so this will be mg cos of theta and this part will be mg sin of theta and there will be normal let us say this normal is n and there will be normal because of the and this small mass m which will be acting in downward direction let us call this as n prime and this n prime can be divided into two components first part and the second part you can see this will be n prime cos of theta and this will be n prime sine of theta and you see this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis so this completes our more or less the diagrams okay so let us write the equation you can see that let us write the equation for first of all for small mass m okay. you can say for mass m there will be two motion one will be in horizontal direction and another one will be in the vertical direction so let us write first of all for the horizontal part for mass m in the horizontal direction we are going to get the equation as ma is equal to ma cos of theta let us call this equation number one and in vertical In vertical direction you can see we are going to have mg minus n prime and there will be also a component of a sin theta that is equal to ma sin of theta let us call this question number two next we write similarly for mass capital M for mass capital M again two equations will be present so you can say that we can have the two equations as n prime sine of theta okay, along the inclined plane so we have n prime sine of theta and we are going to have this as plus mg sine of theta plus mg sine of theta and it is going to have an acceleration okay, in the downward direction and this will be equal to our mass into acceleration me let us call this equation number three next set of equation we can write that n prime cos of theta plus next is mg cos of theta minus there will be normal in opposite direction minus n will be equal to 0 and let us call this equation number 4 
So now we are going to use the combination of these equations and solve it further. So from equation 2, from equation 2, we get that our n prime is equal to mg minus ma sine of theta and let us call the equation number 5 now we already defined that now we are going to use this value of n prime and substitute in equation number 3 so using equation 5 in equation 3 we get we substitute the value this will be equal to mg minus ma sine theta this is value of n prime and multiply by sine theta and plus mg sine theta is equal to ma we open the bracket this will be mg sine of theta minus ma sine square theta plus mg sine of theta is equal to ma and we combine the like terms for the capital A you can say that A taken as common this will be equal to m plus m sine square theta and this will be equal to taking g sine theta from common we get m plus capital M g sine of theta and so it means we get the acceleration as m plus capital M g sine of theta divided by m plus small m sine square of theta so this is the acceleration for mass capital M this is acceleration of mass capital M but we are supposed to find out the acceleration of small m okay. so the acceleration of is already given as acceleration of mass small m with respect to ground okay. acceleration of small m with respect to ground is already we found out that can see acceleration of small m with respect to ground will be equal to a sine of theta this is acceleration of mass small m with respect to ground is given as acceleration of mass with respect to ground is let me write this in capital way a m g with respect to ground is a sine of theta we all know value of a so we put value of a and we get this as m plus capital m g sine square theta divided by m plus m sine square theta this is a m 